idcwoodcraft.com. Hello, my CNC brother or sister. I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, and welcome to the weekend where we are working. <laughs> We're working on CNC stuff. I'm actually trying to create a video for you, but it's kind of challenging. The little town I live in has a lot of noise, and right now, two blocks down is the Ohio River, and they're having antique boat races with the old super fast racing boats. So it's, you can probably hear it. I've been getting a ton of emails about cutting aluminum and brass on your CNC router. So I have to start working on that. So I am going to start putting aluminum through its paces on the long mill CNC router. So be looking for that. First I got to get this bull video out of the way which has been sitting on my plate for quite a long time. Hey, I got to tell you something. I got another awesome gift in the mail from another CNC brother. I love this. When, when you get something in the mail, <laughs> you know you're doing something right. And this is what I got. It came from Scott. And he made a coaster. An inlaid coaster. So I guess that's walnut and maybe maple right there. Beautiful. And, you know, I mean, GF, right? Personalized. Isn't that what we do? And on top of that, he sent a little note with five dollars so that I can buy a cup of coffee and set my cup of coffee on my new coaster. Scott, thank you. This has warmed my heart so much. You know, that's the, that's the thing about CNC, right? We, why, does, why do people do this? Why do they make something and then I get it in the mail? And I've talked to a couple CNC brothers lately. I haven't talked to a sister in a few weeks. Oh yes I have. I talked to Sue. But I started asking them, what is it about this? Why, why, why did you send this to me? And there's a common thread. And that common thread is, Garrett, I was looking for something, some kind of new purpose. You know, I retired or I've been in retirement and, and I just feel like something's missing in my life. And you have shown me the road to <laughs> something that I can get excited about. In fact, we got a CNC brother, Harold, who sent me an email. He said, Garrett, you have done more for me as a vet with PTSD than all the therapy and pills ever has. And he went on to say something along the lines of, you helped me find something new that I had lost. I talked to him on the phone later and he said that uh, he struggled with PTSD from being in the service and an accident that had happened. And one of the things that really stuck out with me was, and he said, with PTSD I go to bed every night and all I do is think about that. It just comes up to me and there's all these fears that I have. And when I'm laying in bed, I feel like I'm falling because that was part of the uh, thing that caused the PTSD. And he said, now all I do when I go to bed is I think about this CNC thing and what I can create. So here is the thing, right? That like him, like me, like you, we, we kind of get stuck in something's missing and we reflect back on what we used to have. I see this a lot of times with people in the service, law enforcement, fire, EMS, military, where they reflect back on that. And the common theme I found with that, and by the way, I was in fire and EMS for quite a while. And what I found when I reflect back, reflect back on that was those were the times when we were pushed beyond our limits and we realized we could learn and do something new. So it was a real sense of accomplishment. And when, when we, decide to jump into CNC routers and really have no idea what we're doing, <laughs> right? It's like, what am I getting myself into? The swimming pool's empty and I'm diving off the diving board. And what you find is on your way down, that pool fills up and you start to learn how to do it. And suddenly you're able to do stuff like this and, and, and you feel so good inside and you become so passionate. I like to call it purpose and passion and um, I don't know, there's something else. If you're sitting on the fence with a CNC router, whether you're going to get the long mill or some other CNC router, 
and you've been hanging on this for a long time, I want to, a lot of us, we're guilty of this. We procrastinate, and procrastination is the biggest enemy to joy and happiness. My mentor was telling me the other day when I was kind of procrastinating on something I needed to do, and he said, so Garrett, what's the cost of not doing it? And I said, what do you mean? He said, what's the cost of an action? And I, and I thought about that, and I said, well, I'm not really sure. He said, well, in, in this case, it was about moving towards my, you know, my daughter and my grandkids. I said, well, I won't have time with my grandkids if I don't act on this. He said, right, and they are going to miss what you can give to them. They're going to miss another day of you leaving a legacy with them. Right? When it comes to CNC, right, the cost of an action is more anxiety. Oh, do I really do it or do I not? We're so, we're intimidated by it. We're diving into something we don't even know. And the cost of an action is stress, right? I'm looking at it, but I'm so scared to do it, right? Because I don't trust myself. But you've got this channel here. This channel is going to teach you. If you go back to some of the videos and look at some of the comments and see what people have said, and even in Facebook groups, look at the Facebook groups and see what people have accomplished. And every single one of them started in your shoes, not knowing anything, and taking a risk, a chance at diving in. So there's one, so, so I just want to say, get a long mill, the MK2, I'd suggest you get the 48, not the 30, um, just because that gives you plenty of opportunity, or whatever CNC router you get. If you get the long mill, by the way, down in the description is a link that I will ask you to use. It's an affiliate link that if you use it, I get a little bit of credit. If you don't, then, then, then I don't. I've got one other thing I want to share with you about this weekend thing, something that's going on at the moment. So my laser, my CO2 Monport laser. It's been sitting here for about a month as I have been dealing with a lot of business. Uh, and it's going to be sitting for about another couple of weeks. But I, uh, I have gotten all the stuff that I need to get for it. So first of all, I have an 80 watt Monport CO2 laser. So it's got a nice 36 inch by 24 inch cutting area. And from other people who've, uh, that took advantage of the discount that I have on the machine and bought one and, and <laughs> they said that thing rips. So if, if you're interested in getting a CO2 laser etcher, engraver, cutter, I do have a 6% discount code. That will be down in the description. So I purchased my vent tube, six inch vent tube, because that's what's on the back of the machine. It has to be vented outside because it burns wood, right? Burns through wood. And in case I, I was told by Louisiana hobby guy who teaches light burn, which is the software you use for this. He said, in case you cut, cut something that has vinyl in it, that gives off the uh, chloride. And so that has to be ventilated away. So you just want to make sure you get ventilation away and up high. So I got the tubing, and right here I have the inline fan for the tubing. It does have a fan with it, but it's always been suggested to get a booster with it. So that's what I got. And then right here is the chiller, a CW5200 chiller. So I suggest that uh, if you want to get into that, you will need to get these things too. I'll put links down in the description for all that. But remember, for the laser itself, I do have a 6% discount code. And also, um, if you're going to get into long mill, into CNC routers, then IDC Woodcraft is a CNC router bit business, so I will provide you with your CNC router bits, plus all kinds of little extra goodies when you get them. And please, if you get the long mill MK2, then please use the link I have down below. At the end of the day, though, you know, I, I gotta show you what else. You know, I got, I, I got this a few weeks ago from another CNC brother, and I talked about it in a video. Made on a CO2 laser. Isn't this cool? I, this is Indiana, and I live right about here. <laughs> It just, it just humbles me when people send things to me. and It's like, what do I do? What am I doing to, to, to have the honor of you sending things to me? I don't know. But that's my weekend update for you. 
I'll see my grandkids next weekend. I wanted to go up and see them this weekend, but I do have work to do. And one thing I do know about business is to get successful in business, you, you have to give more than eight hours. You just have to. Eight hours is survival. It's beyond that, that you start to, that you make tracks towards success. Because my goal, my goal is to make IDC Woodcraft the number one CNC router bit company in this home CNC router bit space. Lofty goal, right? Set your goals high and set them big. I can only do that by by being by by enabling your journey to be better. Anyway, I will talk to you next time. Have a great weekend.